Okay, and I'm back, guys. Thanks for waiting. Okay, so let me just, um, get up, but will you press the button? Uh, and we're gonna play it for the ha first half, and then we'll play Would You Rather. Uh, let's also, I'll see if I can get some background music, because if I now uh, switch over to the game, it uh, will have none. I think it's a little quiet then. Yeah, it will have none. Well, let's get something in here. Um, do I already have this? Maybe the same as, as we have in, in the, in the chat. Um. I have to make the break music a bit louder. Thanks for noting that for me. Um, also just here. Wait, let, let me just give it a uh, try. Let me uh, get back to the break. Is that a little better? Just, uh, just wondering. I mean, it's supposed to be just quiet, but... I can make it even louder if you want to. Well, maybe I'll just do it now, next time. Just making it a little louder and make a, a recording task with that. Okay, better. Going back here. Um, is the music here okay, or is it too loud or also too quiet? Just getting some feedback in. It's the same as for chat, so um, probably is okay. I'm just going to assume it's okay for now. If not, just uh, tell me. Okay, uh, so I'm guessing that most of you are familiar with the game, but um, I'm gonna get a quick explanation in here. Uh, basically, you'll be presented with something you can get when you press this button, but there's also a catch. You do not hear anything. Okay, well, let me just get it up then. Better? Or it's still too easy to point. I know it's a very, very, um, uh, quiet song, but, uh, you should be able to hear something at least. Just tell me. Something in between. Okay, way too loud now. Well, please decide on how loud you want it then. Um, put it somewhere in the middle now. Is, is that okay? I mean, the song is starting up quiet. Maybe you kind of um, got that wrong then. Okay, anyway, so... Just tell me if it's better. Okay, it's okay. Then we'll just leave them out. Okay, so for our first um, option, uh, just to explain it, we have the force if we press the button, but then we'll become a cat. And I do not really like to become a cat, so I will not press this button. And afterwards, you kind of see how many people press this button. Why did so many people want to become a cat then? Do they not have any problem with not being human anymore? Because I certainly would not like that. Yeah, and then we're gonna read this. I think that's a good dilemma. Okay, um, we're just gonna go through a few 
few of those. Maybe talk a little bit in the process. You gain two powers. Transformation into anything you want. And teleportation. You can still move when transformed and teleport anywhere. But you can never become human again and have to suffer a pain like you're burning every time you use either of these powers for the first 24 hours you're in that new form. Same here, I like to stay human. So definitely not a question for me to not press this button. What's it up with the animal questions today? Okay, so you can erase the mind of anyone you choose but you leave a scar on them whenever you do it, letting everyone know that you erased their mind. Okay, kinda everybody knows that it does the scar? Or they kinda thinking about it? I mean, they could have gotten the scar elsewhere. You know? Or does it just print a uh, mind erase on their, on their forehead? Even if, if people know that I erased their mind, I just erased them as well. I mean... Gotta get everybody a scar and a nice erased mind, so I'll press the button. Might not use the power too much, but um, just in case I may need it. You can't do anything and become anything, have anything. But you'll never have kids. That's kind of the best button for me. I want, don't want kids anyway, so I can do anything, become anything, and have everything just without any backside to it. So yeah, definitely. <laughs> Mash the crap out of that button. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. But yeah, for a lot of people, that may be a hard dilemma if they want to get kids, but. Uh, just not for me. So I'm kinda have to be a little bit objective here when we are rating if it's a good or bad dilemma. You get the spells of your dreams, they are literally flawless. But your past relationship plagues you and you don't truly really appreciate what you have. Hmm. But would he mind though? I mean if if he's flawless, he, he probably wouldn't mind, right? And how can you be flawless if my past relationship is plaguing me and I can't appreciate it? Or can I, it would be flawless for me but I don't recognize it kinda? Kinda like that? But that also would mean that a relationship is good for me. So also good for my life. Even though I do not feel about it that way. But still that would be good so I'm gonna press that button anyway. What past relationship? Yeah, for some people, uh, not all questions are fitting, but, um, you know, just I uh, have to get all of them. You can get any car you want, but every road has horrible traffic. I do not care so much about what car I'm driving, so that would be horrible, just getting into traffic all the time, so I will not press a bit. Also, that would mean that the road had um, traffic all the time. Yeah, for everybody else as well. So no, we'll not press it. But you become fluent in your mother language and have countless job opportunities, which are rewarding and easy for you to live with. Wait, fluent in your mother language? Ah, uh, shouldn't you already be that? Okay. But your friends and family cannot keep up with you. your use of language and find it too complex to understand. And most of the time find themselves dumbfounded and annoyed by your mere presence. Well, if you change your mother tongue to English, then kinda the right hand side fits perfectly, but um, yeah, um, kinda get the scenario here. Hmm, countless of job opportunities. For my friends and family not to really understand my language most of the time. Well, I could draw them something. Kind of make them understand. Annoyed by your mere presence. They are mostly already, so... Yeah, I only have uh, something good out of it. Good job opportunities. Easy for you to live with. Yeah, gonna press that button. 
Okay, you prove that the Ranches monster exists and you become friends. But every time you see him, you have to give him 350. Um, why would we be friends when he's asking that of me? That's not a good friend at all, if you ask me. Ah, uh, I do not need a friend like that. That's not really a friend. So, no. I will not. Kind of a little bit of a strange question. Your body never feels pain, but your heart constantly does. Kind of like uh, physical pain versus um, emotional pain, if I got that right. Um, personally, I would prefer a little bit of physical pain. You can just look out for that. Kind of see that you do not break a leg or something. Kind of look out for yourself and your body. But um, if your heart would have um, constant pain, kind of kind of constant emotional pain, you could never get away from that, and you couldn't do a thing about it. So I will not press this button. That's weird. Which classroom was weird? Which of the ones? There were some weird ones in there, if you ask me. Okay, I will not press this button. You can shoot lasers from your eyes, but you have a lazy eye. I find both of, of these not to be useful. What if I shoot some lasers um, by coincidence? Kind of destroying stuff. Or kind of when I'm sick, I'm kind of sneezing there, shooting everybody. No, no, that I think I think laser eyes are not too good on their own already. And lazy eye as well. No, nope, I'm gonna say no to that one. No thanks. Oh, the one with the Loch Ness monster. 30 seconds delay, that's kind of a lot. Um, but I think there's not a thing I can do, right? I think it's just the connection again. Being a little slow. And yeah, yeah, I think it's also normal for it to have a little delay, 20 seconds about. You get unlimited everything forever but you have to marry someone you hate badly I say this is not good if you have to hate someone you you hate marry someone you hate then probably having everything doesn't even make your life any better so I'll not press the button you can create anything out of thin air it will disappear after two hours and you will have no memory of interacting with it. Okay. I have no memory of interacting with it, but others may have. I mean, I could just do, can I, I don't know, a conjure up flames or ice or anything. Can I become a little trick magician, making my money out of that? Or, I don't know. I mean, I can create anything. I, mean, I have no memory of interacting with it. It may do good, like, uh, I don't know, some cure. Well, that's still a hold on. If I, if I make a cure and cure somebody, and it disappears after two hours, will it revert or will just the object itself go away again? It sounds awesome nonetheless, so I'm gonna yeah, definitely press that button. Ooh, that's a, that's a long one. Okay, have the power to summon any three fictional characters at any time and be able to dismiss them to bring forth others. They will always be very friendly to you and your friends and family. Okay, so I can also switch them up, but only three at once. But they will only have a 25% chance 
of becoming friendly. So thus they will have a 75% chance of not knowing who you are or why they are here. If this happens they may go insane from this fact and even if they don't they will act as though they are still in the universe they came from. Hmm. I can kinda decide which ones I summon. Does it tell me if I have a cooldown on that one? Kinda you can only switch out every 3 seconds or something. Cause then I could kinda abuse the system, kinda summon, and if they do not look like they're friendly and then I just resummon instantly. Until I get the one that is friendly, and I do that 3 times. And then I have 3 friendly ones. And if I need to switch I'm just gonna do the same trick all over again. I don't know if that would be cheating the question, but um... Also, if I only pick characters that are friendly per se, or easy to convince, at least if you know about the universe, then that would also be easy. Just have to be careful about what I summon here. Yeah, but otherwise, I say that's good. So we're gonna press that button. Yeah, somebody's having the same idea as me, kinda only repeating the spell over and over and over again. Okay, time for the next one. You can turn invisible whenever you want, but you're invisible for a random amount of time. Could be 5 seconds, could be 5 hours. Okay, so I kind of say I want to go invisible now and it kind of picks a random time when I do not know. But being invisible, um, kind of doesn't change that I can still talk, right? People can hear me, I can still kind of write on stuff, um, they just can't see me doing it. So as long as I tell everybody about it, that might be a cool trick. Not useful for much, but, um, still cool, cool to do, getting one extra ability. So oh, yeah, somebody going crazy in the comment section here. Okay, next one. Oh, I see. Drug considered question here. Weed no longer is considered a drug, and people can smoke it when and where they want. But the government is the only ones who can grow it, sell it, and the prices suck to buy it. Okay. Um. I mean, everybody kinda can decide on themselves what they want to do, right? So, I do not have any problems with it no longer being considered a drug. But personally, I also do not care about if. So, uh, but uh, the catch kinda sucks. The government kinda getting the prices. That would make it useless even more. I mean, it would be legal. But, um, it would be easier to get it illegal. Again. Kinda. I don't know, stealing it from them. So, I think it's better if we do not do this. And just, uh, maybe things will work out on their own without the button. You become a virtuoso at your favorite musical instrument. But you'll never become famous during your own lifetime. Your talents will only be appreciated after you die. Well, I didn't have to become famous for it, but I can produce good music. That won't make me happy, certainly. So I do not care about the fame. I'll definitely press that button. Instantly. Your body will become and stay physically fit like a supermodel. But your face becomes very ugly. Uh, no, I do not want this. Thank you very much. You could see the future, but you can't change it. Yeah, I kinda know that situation already. Thanks, I think I pressed that button already. Uh, you will be able to turn into a person that is 15 meters tall, but you have to take orders from someone really, really short. Why would I even want to be a really tall person? 
That is kind of not really helping. Imagine me wanting to get into a house and I can't really. And if I have to take orders, where's the fun in that? So, no, I will definitely not. That only has downsides to it. You can make anyone want to have sex with you, but the sex is really bad. Then why would I want to have sex with them in the first place then? No, I will not. Screw them. If they don't want to. Okay, time for the next question. Kinda a lot of reading today. You have the power to have a time remote. Pause, rewind, fast forward. But you will have to relive the worst thing that ever happened to you twice. Hmm. Reliving it. Can I, um. Can it happen all the time? Affecting me? Or can I, like, um. Only being in a scene all over again before going back? Because, can I? Uh, if I imagine my worst experience would be. Uh, thinking about something. Breaking a leg, for example. Would I have to relive the moment I break it? And then get back into the present? Just. Having an awful feeling and having experienced that again, but going on, or would it just break my leg over and over, affecting me? Because then I would not be good. And also, can I change this? I mean, if I could rewind, I could also kind of eliminate my worst moment. I mean, I could. Don't know if I would, but I could. Hi there, thanks for the house, the Wing Ranger. I think it's really working again. I think I see the, the notifications again. Yeah, I'm gonna press it, but let's just press it. You can create memes as you want. They will become very popular on the internet and you'll become an internet celebrity. But everyone who meets you in real life will find you extremely annoying and would want to be seen without you. Okay, so kinda... Fame... What fame versus real life? But everybody kinda hates me already in real life soon. Hmm. So I could, of course, press the button, just get the power to create super memes. I do not care about that much, but um, having one extra ability doesn't hurt, right? Ah, oh, hi there, Louis Ranger. How are you? Hmm. Yeah, let's just press the button. Get, get one extra ability in here. You will never have to pay for any medium, such as TV, video games, books, ever again. But, all the works from mediums prior to 1990 are erased from history. Um, no. No thank you, I'd rather pay for everything. But that's a, a good dilemma anyway. You've been up for 32 hours straight? Is that a little bit too long? How can you hold out for that long? I can't even uh, kind of get through when Nate not sleeping. I totally collapsed then. Must be not healthy, right? The franchise of your choice is getting movie trilogy made with a limitless budget. But the director is Michael Bay. How could Michael Bay make in a movie in that category? Who's giving it to him? That's ruining everything. No, then it's not worth it. I will definitely not press that button. Oh, the chat broke again. That's not good. Yeah, see you after the refresh. No, I will not press that button.
You can join any anime or shows you want, but the characters hate you. Well, most of the time it's not even that intelligent to join in a uh, show or anime anyway, since most of the time they're being dangerous, there's something else going on that you're not quite fit in, you should not be part of, and I think you just join in as yourself. Not a send thing, super. So, I will not press this button. Half-Life 3 is released, but it's a Wii U exclusive. Well, I wouldn't care. At least we have something like that. Maybe we can kind of port the files then. Or it will be ported later. Most exclusives get ported later, right? And the story would continue on. Welcome back, Louie. Yeah, I, I say we press the button. Just to get it. Maybe there's a small chance after all then. Okay, we'll get eternal world peace. But you die tomorrow at this exact time, when you push the button. Oh, you know what? I do not want to die for eternal world peace. I'm just not that kind of person. So call me bad, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. They have to get peace on their own. It would also be a forced peace, kinda. Some, I don't know. These ex machina are kinda holding everybody at peace. Can I mind control, maybe, also? Because if they want to make peace on their own, then, yeah. It's not working out right, so I'm not gonna press the button. When am I teaching you that game? I told you before, I'm just... I'm just rolling with it. I do not know much about the game. Just rolling with it. Just screwing all over until everything works that I want to work. Or I get out. Bye accident. That's that most of the time I just get out by accident. Kinda find a way. Like the first person where I kinda wanted to build that big tunnel. And then at the end I just got some cutters and tried to um break the fence in a in a funny mood to see if we got shot by the snipers and we just escaped instantly. No I have not tried the Stardew update yet. I'll try that on Wednesday. And I had something different planned for today and also for tomorrow. Okay. Okay, you are immortal, who will long catch. But every 100 years, your memory of everyone who will ever known in your life erases. They will still remember you, but in your eyes they are complete strangers. But you still remember any knowledge or skills you have ever attained. Okay. I do not like something to tangle with my mind here, erasing all my memories and everything. So I will not do that. Definitely not. That's good anyways. Um, tomorrow? Tomorrow we're gonna play, uh, Choice Chamber. Followed by a little small Q&A that was wished for. Probably not too long, cause I can't imagine a lot of people asking stuff, but yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. Who idea for a movie or game is used and becomes successful, but you get no profit from it? But that would mean I could play that game, and that game would be awesome. So I'm gonna press that button. You'll be able to play any instrument, but never for more than 5 people. Well, I would be able to play an instrument, just one. So, yeah. That would be better than now. I cannot play for anyone right now. Yeah, the choice chamber is meant to be the 100 follower stream. I wish you a good night, Lonely Ranger. Hopefully you can't sleep. Just try to. Not healthy staying up so long. You can't see the future, but no one will believe any of your prophecies and you'll always be labeled as a liar. 
that is just mocking me that game again. Well, might not press the button. You will survive being attacked by a violent attack by shooting him. But you will be portrayed as a racist murderer for the rest of your life. Okay, what if I don't press the button? Does it mean that I'll not get attacked in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. Will I be attacked in the first place if I do not press it? I will not press it and I'll not be being attacked and this is for nothing. You can predict the future, but no one believes you. I think that game is trolling me by now. That's the third time this question has come up, but in some different sense. But we're still gonna press the button. Not changing our opinion here. You end world hunger at the cost of your eyesight, and no one will ever believe you. As I said before, I'm, I'm not for this, you kind of sacrifice yourself for the greater good thing, because it kind of means that I'll say I end world hunger. And then later on it will start again, something will get wrong again, something else will get wrong. Some other um, bad thing on the world. And then the next person has to kind of sacrifice himself, I'm not for that. I think the world has to solve their problems in order to get better. Just my opinion. So I will not press it, but. You can fly, but you constantly feel like you are wearing wet socks. Well, I would just be the feeling of flying then. Since I'm afraid of heights anyway, um, I always feel bad when I'm flying. So, wouldn't make a difference, but I can fly, so I'll press that button. Definitely wanna fly. Will definitely be worth it. You could eat anything in the world. Even poison or non-edible items. Ooh, disgusting. And you won't die or suffer health issues. But eating your favorite food will kill you. Okay, question. Why would I want to eat poison or non-edible items in the first place? I mean, I don't know what other people are craving, but I do not want to eat my laptop. So, no, definitely not. Strange questions in here. Some are good, but some are really strange. Oh, racist, misogynist, homophobes, terrorists of any kind, and other hateful kinds of people immediately lose the power of communication until they learn to be better human beings. But you will survive on a liquid only diet for the rest of your life, and solid food will kill you on the spot. Uh, but surviving means that I will definitely not die, right? Also, um, do soups count as liquid only diets? Some, uh, foods or some smoothies? Then I can kind of paste everything into, into a liquid. Hmm. That's a hard one. Hmm, should I do that or not? Uh, the question is, if they lose the power of communication, that doesn't um, block them from being bad persons, right? They, they could just do other kinds of stuff. Now, they have no communication yet, but they could do something else, right? So this will not completely solve the problem. So I'm heading towards not pressing the button then, because I don't see this as a solution. No, we're not gonna press that. You can have the girl or boy of your dreams, but you cannot have sex with them. Happen in the sense of marriage? 
Well, if they will be alright, it. Mm, then why not? Just saying, okay. If they will be okay, then I do not care. You land your dream job, but you only get paid minimum wage. Well, better than being paid minimum wage without having your dream job, right? Um, can I, um, I ha stuck there forever? Can I deal, or can I, um, uh, you just got that. You can stop anytime. Hmm, I'm gonna press it, but I think it's a one-time deal. Not a forever stuck there. Okay, uh, what will the button do this time? You will get straight A's in school, but you will always have a lunchtime detention and will always get in trouble. Okay. First thing, I'm not in school anymore, so this doesn't really apply to me. Second, I didn't have a problem getting A's when I was still in school with that, that so... Nope, well, definitely not present. Have to work for your A's, guys. You can have every superpower in the comic book universe. But you die after one year. No, not a good deal. I value my life way more than cool superpowers. So, nope, we're gonna, gonna do that. You are able to create any creature, any weapon, any tool, anything with the power of your mind. But you cannot create a girlfriend for the first five years, the only thing you can create are dildos. Yeah, uh, who cares about that? I can create anything for the price of nothing here. Okay, that's a little bit bad because it's only three. Kind of written for one kind of, uh, of person, so... Um, I'm not gonna rate this one too good. I think he should have written it a little bit better. Kinda could have gotten a better downside, like kinda you cannot be married or have a boy or a girlfriend for the time being. I think that would make the question a little bit harder for <laughs> for one half of the of the nation. You're the most beautiful person to ever have lived, but you have no self esteem. Well why not? I don't have any self esteem as this, so Uh, you get to live your life exactly the way you wish. But after 5 years you would be bored but unable to change a thing. Hmm, that's not good because I value my change. Um, I get bored pretty easily get stuff and kind of change up um, all the time on what I'm doing and what I'm trying out. So this would be really bad for me. And if I want to live my life exactly the way I wish it, then... Or is it just at this moment? Probably. Because that, that's probably the problem. If you're in a prison that cannot change up on the life wishes all the time or not. Okay, I'm wishing uh, different things the whole time, so this is not for me. You'll have to walk 500 miles, but you will have to walk 500 more. What? Um, no. Why Why press the button in the first place? I'm not liking that one. Really not good. You make lots of money from making math to pay for your cancer balls and future investment for your family. But well, you know how it goes down. I'm not getting most of the questions here. Um, I'm not this. Oh, reference time. Oh, they meant that as a reference. Wow. I think reference is in here and that's good. I think you should uh, kind of make the question for everybody. Kind of making a general one. And making it better than Lumber, that is. You understand every human language in existence, but you are mute and can never ever muster up another sound in your life again. Okay, it would be really bad for streaming if you ask me. But I could 
always communicate through written language? I could understand every language in existence, so also ancient ones. Hmm. I think I would press that button. That would be an awesome ability. You can have fun with all the women in the world, letting them fulfill all your desires, but you'll bear within two days. Okay, first problem, woman, second problem, die, I say no. Just mana, make the symbol. Get an automatic A on every test you take and no homework again. But, you'll have to go to bed at 5 o'clock p.m. on weekends forever. No, definitely not. As I said before, just work for you, Raids. I'll make my own sleep schedule, thank you. You become the most influential speaker in the world. But everything I say sounds like Dr. Seuss. Okay, why would I even want to become an influential speaker? And I'm kind of not getting way uh, sounding like Dr. Seuss is so bad. And I'm not familiar with that one, but I will not press it. But I have not decided to become an influential speaker. Oh, okay. Another reference time. Yeah, I have to get more insight to free this one. Okay, game is trolling me again. Same question all over again. You can see the future, but no one will believe you. They're just making fun of me, aren't they? This is the fourth time we had this one, but with a different uh, spelling each time. Okay, first time we're gonna click that button still. Okay, you will get everything for free. But everyone thinks you stole it. But they cannot prove it, right? I mean, I do not care what people think about me, as long as they cannot do anything legally about it. I do not really care. I mean, if somebody kinda um, gets things for free, or kinda gets them and nobody knows how much money they have, then they kinda also think they stole it or making some illegal deals somewhere. So it would be kind of the same thing. Everybody would just be wondering why I got this and thinking I would be stealing it. But I got everything for free. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that one. You will have all the powers of Superman. You will have the luck of Spider-Man. So none at all. Hmm. Question is, will I be able to control my powers even? Would that mean I will get the weaknesses too? Just asking. Nah, I do not want that superpowers. Thank you. Everyone gives you a gift every day, but it's the same gift. Can I everybody give me the same gift or the same gift every day? I could still make money out of that either way. And maybe it's useful. I mean, it doesn't say which gift it is here. So... Maybe it's something that I need every day. Like, uh, I don't know. Coupon? Money? I'm gonna... It's more for nothing. So yeah, we're gonna press that one. You can do anything you want, including superpowers and such, but you must kill or destroy that which you hold dearest. Okay, so it cannot be for nothing again, cause... I think it's kind of an indefinitely thing that I kind of have to kill it all over again and over again. Whatever is the most dearest to me. In order to keep on using my powers. So all that power is what make me unhappy, so no, I'm not gonna take those. You 
can become immortal, but you may only eat a zombie for the rest of your life. That would be a really bad life if you ask me. So I will definitely not do that. You can have any superpower you want, but only live 25 years. Okay, kinda onto the same we have before, only worded a little differently. So, no, still not. What's it up with the superpowers today? So many superpower questions here. You get a superpower, but the power is to be able to grow a beard whenever you are shaving. That, that's really not useful for me. Um, I don't know. I don't think that would be too good. Kinda not fitting here. You can teleport everywhere you want, but every time you do this, one random person in the world dies. Would they blame me for that? I think they would be onto that. I think they would kinda wonder why everybody's dying all the time, unless I keep it low and then it would not help me that much. And then would kinda track it back to me, right? I could have just teleport away. Unless they somehow are able to counter that one. Also, a random person could be any person close to me as well, so I'll not do this. You gain the ability to teleport yourself by concentrating on where you want to go. But you need to do complex physical and geometric calculations to end up where you want to. Errors can result in serious injury, loss of limbs, or a gruesome death. Okay. Kinda would defeat the purpose. But if it takes so long to teleport there then with the calculations, then I would be faster going there when it's not great. I mean, teleportation, um... Mainly it's for saving some time. And even if I do an error, I'm ending up death, so it will be way worse. So, I'm not gonna press this button. Okay, and I think it's about time we change um, to what you rather, but before I'm just doing one last question. You have the ability to listen to any kind of music anytime you want. But the music will be blasted and heard by other people. Okay, I would probably annoy them to death. And I already have the ability to listen. Hmm. I already have that ability. I mean, everybody can kind of take their phone everywhere. So I would only get in trouble for that one. So I'm not gonna press this button. Okay. And that's the last question out of will you press the button. Certainly a few strange questions in there and a lot of similar ones. But yeah, we will have to manage. So let's switch back to chat. While I switch to or would you rather? I already have this open somewhere. Not over here. Okay, let's just see if, if it's working for you. I'll switch back and see if you can see everything. Hopefully, I set it up right. I think it's looking good. I can see something in OBS, so it, it should be working. Okay, and uh, Would You Rather is pretty similar to Will You Press the Button. But instead of just giving you the button that you can press for um, something cool and the downside to it, you have two options uh, against each other, and you can only decide for one. So, in case of Will You Press the Button, if it kind of says, um, you 
have to die for, I don't know, world peace. You can kind of say I'm not gonna press a button and maybe it will solve itself. But here you only have uh, a decision between two options and if it's, I don't know, kill one half of the people or the other, then you have to decide between two bad options as well. So there is no getting up this time. Okay, let's see. Our first question. Uh, you can also see by whom the question was added. There might be some extra text in here, so from time to time. Okay, would you rather be a vampire who you can transform into a bat, or be a ghost that can possess only appliances? The healthy vampire. Okay, and most people agree with me on that one. Okay. Would you rather drive a smart car or drive a Lamborghini and pull up four times a week? You would be equally uh, wealthy in either scenario. You could not sell the car. Um, smart car in the sense of um, with high animatronics, meaning um, board computer and everything. Lamborghini in the sense of um. Very fast and powerful car. That would be my guess. So I'm gonna definitely go with smart car. Most of the people now not agree with me here. Are people so much into Lamborghinis? Well, I I'm not a big fan of cars per se, so maybe I'm not getting the whole thing here. Okay. On to the next question. Would you rather smell like farts all the time or get sprayed by a skunk once a month for the rest of your life? Okay, both are getting me stinky, right? Would it be at the exact same time I get um, sprayed by the skunk? What I kind of know it's always on the first, so then I could prepare to just stay inside and kind of shower off the smell, kind of get something against it. And actually I could p get people to see that I got sprayed on, so they kind of know where it was coming from. But if I just smell like it, then they just, just imagine it's me. So I'm gonna go with the rat option here. Not most people agree. Would you rather be swept up in a hurricane or be lost in a flood? Okay, neither is good. Okay, neither is good. Um, let's see. Up and down sets everything. Swept up in the hurricane. Okay, it's kind of telling me that I'm directly in the hurricane. Um, that could cause more serious injuries than just being lost. Being lost, I kind of see that uh, everything's flooding. You're kind of stuck at the rooftop or something. Kind of away from everything. Or do you actually get? Do you survive either way or not? That's that's a question. But I think I'm going with the flood. Most people do not agree with me. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Are hurricanes so much safer for this one? Or are people are more familiar with that? Would you rather ski in the mountains or vacation on the beach? Well, thing is. I do not like skiing, not at all, but I also do not like warm vacations on the beach. Can I not just make some tour in, in an interesting town when probably a rainy weather? But I could also pick a beach that's uh, not warm, not like a sand beach, but some stone beach with windy weather, 
so I'm going for a vacation on the beach. Um, most people agree with me, but they are probably thinking about a different kind of beach than me. I just have to see it right. Ooh, what does that mean? Does it mean that this is very popular since there's this level of star up there? Would you rather be eaten by a zombie or be burned at the stake? Ouch, both are not really good. Okay, if I'm getting eaten by a zombie, am I getting infested and being one too? But I think being burned at the stake sounds cooler. We'll both be pretty, pretty gruesome, um, especially in our life still. I'm gonna take that one. Um, you know, I'm also even, but uh, more people are afraid of zombies. For one week, would you rather eat nothing but dog treats or eat nothing but cat food? Okay, it depends on the cat food or on the dog treats. But if I see the dog treats, most of them are more like, um, I don't know, um, hard to chew? Will that be it? Or are they thinking more of the little snacks? The dry food? But I think cat food, if you buy the right one, can be really similar to some of the food that we are eating. Some of the pasties and, um, and canned, uh, meat. So I would go with cat food. I just have to pick the right one. It may be tasty. And most people like dog treats. I don't know well, why. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong ones. Maybe they're thinking of different ones. Would you rather be a wizard or the king of England? That's that's an easy one for me. Why you wanna be the king of England? Definitely gonna be a wizard. Would you rather be unable to survive without eating something every hour? Or be unable to chase anything for the rest of your life? Well, if I would not be able to taste anything for the rest of my life anymore, then that would be really hard for me. Um, having to eat something every hour would be very inconvenient, but at least it would be okay. Only problem time probably being night time, but I have a problem sleeping through, so probably waking up every hour anyway. I'm gonna have to get an alarm clock every hour. I'm just putting in a little snack. doesn't say how much you have to eat, so just eating a little snack will be enough then. So I'm going with the blue option here. And most people agree with me. That's not too bad. Would you rather be a third standing QB for a bad NFL team? Or be an MVP QB for an arena football team? Okay, um... Sports are not my biggest, so I do not care much here. Um. Hmm. Hi there, Bob. How you doing? I'm just gonna go with blue, and I'm on the on the on the wrong side. Wouldn't care. <coughs> Which wizard would you rather be? Would you rather be Gandalf or Dumbledore? Okay. Um, I don't want to bash any of the two, but I think Gandalf was more badass. I think he's kicking ass way more. Um, so I'm gonna go with Gandalf. And most of the people agree with me. Not everybody, but uh, most of them. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to make the right decision here. Would you rather have to drive a pink moped for the next two years? 
I rest on the alligator one time. Okay. There might be a high chance that I'm gonna die from that rustling on the alligator. And... If I'm gonna drive a pink mobile for the next two years, then people will probably just say it's ugly or, or cute, I do not know, but I think it's it's better. Ew, you're going camping. That's certainly nice. Um, somewhere in the mountains, or in the open field, or near a lake? I'm not going camping that much. Um, most of the camping areas we have here are way too crowded. Kinda don't have a lot of open areas here. All taken and... Kinda, um, over visited. After a drive further away. I kinda do not have time for really driving further away. Okay. Would you rather kiss Voldemort or kiss Hitler? How about none of them? Oh, your parents won't tell you. Oh, so it's a surprise then. Then just hop into the car and get somewhere. Oh, why do I have to do this? You don't want to do either. This question is torturing me, you know that? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Doesn't care anyway, right? We'll be over soon. Okay, I do not care. Ah, most people agree with me. But it's pretty 50-50 here. Nobody cares about who they're gonna kiss, it will be over soon. Would they rather only eat breakfast cereal or only eat pasta? Okay, um, eating only breakfast cereal kinda would leave you on one warm meal a day. Um, but only eating pasta? We would have the problem that you would have to eat that for breakfast, right? So it's kinda, um, the opposite way, but uh, you can also eat the pasta for lunch and dinner. And maybe you can do some some light um, cold, maybe pasta, some some pasta salad maybe for breakfast. Or you just don't do breakfast. Most of the time you breakfast, get breakfast anyway, so maybe I go with only eating pasta. I mean, I love pasta, so yeah, I'm going with that one. And most people are also pasta fans. I buy breakfast cereal. Yeah, it must be based on the chosen uh, food, so I could probably experiment for, for breakfast pasta. Would you rather be a famous homosexual professional athlete or a heterosexual average person? I'm not into sports at all, so I do not care about being a professional athlete. So I'm being a heterosexual average person. Just being myself. Just being average. I love being myself. You don't even eat breakfast, yeah. And most of the time neither do I. Except for maybe on the weekend one or two times. Yeah. If the family's home and everybody's kind of eating together. But otherwise, I do not really care. Would you rather eat Lay's potato chips or eat Pringles? Okay, I do not know if we if I had Lay's potato chips before. Um, maybe that's uh, a brand that we're not getting over here. But either is fine. Probably um, depends on what taste they're having. Right? That's a lot of different passages. Yeah, we could probably do another one every day. So it would not get so boring. But cereal, I don't know, may get boring. Also bad if, if people are coming over as guests and you kind of tell them that you have to eat the, the cereal. They kind of look at you like you're crazy. Passes okay though. Um, 
Okay, I really do not care. I like potato chips. I also like Pringles. All, all fine by me. Hmm. I do not know if those are special potato chips and they're different from just ordinary potato chips. So I'm just gonna go with that one because I 100% know what that is. Um, most people agree with me, but I think that's a, just normal potato chips. That's just a brand name, right? But anyway, both are good. Would you rather have the ability to teleport or be able to time travel? Hmm, well, that's a hard one. See, um, while well, I press the button, kind of has this, um, do you want to do that with bad catch or no? This kind of also can give you the opportunity to be between two bad things, like in the kissing before, or two good things where you cannot really decide what is better. Okay, uh, you will not be able to affect the time and space continuum, so I kind of won't be able to do a lot of the time travel here. I also will not be able to do a lot with the teleport then, right? But, um, is it okay to teleport somewhere I need to go anyway? Like, um, say I want to go to the supermarket, can I just teleport there and then teleport back after I, I did my, my grocery shopping? Is that okay or would that affect time, time space continuum? I think that would be okay, right? Also, learning about old cultures and uh, the like would be good for time travel. That would be okay, I think. Okay, to that rule. So, I think I'm going with teleport since that would have the more practical use for daily life. I mean, time travel is nice, but if I cannot change things with time travel, then... Or also cannot bring some cool inventions from the future back, since that would definitely break this rule here. I would go with teleport. Yep, yeah, we're having a holiday here in Germany. Well, that's kinda... What kind of holiday? Um, looking for the English word of it. Uh, Unity... The Unity Day? Day of German Unity, maybe? That could be the translation of it. Kinda celebrating the reunion. I, I think there's an English name for it. I'm pretty sure there's an English one. As well. Would you rather? <laughs> would you rather tea or coffee? And um, they could get a drink there, in at least to make it more clear. Would you rather drink tea or coffee? I personally do not like coffee at all. Not like um, I do not like it because it's unhealthy or something. I do not like the taste. That's simple. So I will go with tea. I thought you can be very helpful when you're sick. Ah, oh, it's about 50-50, I'd say. Would you rather get stung repeatedly by a Japanese hornet, or be bitten once by a black widow spider? You'd have an equal chance of dying either way. Okay. Ah, I think I prefer the I prefer the black widow spider. But once it's only bitten once, so it's one pain, and then we'll see if I die. Um, on the second, I'm afraid of hornets and bees and everything. I'm, I'm getting panic attacks when I'm thinking about it here. So, not going to do that one. And most people agree with me here. Would you rather suck a hobo's toes for 2 minutes, or be in a cage with a honey vetcher and lion for 20 seconds? Okay, that depends on how big the cage is. I think the, um... The... The cage will get me more injuries, and the other would... I don't know... Get me... Illness? Probably, depending on the hobo, but, um, still. Maybe the lion, but, uh, the lion and the honey butcher are kind of battling themselves and I can kind of just stand there for 20 seconds. Hmm. 
Would you rather have the feeling of being kicked in the testicles for 12 hours a day? Or, uh, I think that's a never. Never be able to produce healthy children. I do not care about children, I said that before, so... I'll take that over pain. And <laughs> most people agree with me, sadly. Uh, I thought I was the only one not liking children here. Yeah. Not simple food allergies, yeah, it would be a serious health issues. Would you rather not brush your teeth for a month or not shower for a month? Okay, um, it doesn't tell anything specific down there. So I guess it's not showering, it's just really not showering and does bathing count? Can I, can I just bathe? And for teeth, can I, can I just, um, can I just, I don't know, get something to kind of, some, some, uh, other hygienic product? I, I kind of use a toothbrush, but, am I girling it out? I, I'm not sure. Would that count or would that be against the question? I'm just gonna assume that not shower for a man This means that I can still bathe and um I mean that's good as well. Um at least you're getting cleaned. Right? I think with teeth it would be way harder to get them actually really good to cleaned with aromatics. So I'm gonna go for the shower. Most people disagree. Most people just don't care about their teeth it seems. Okay, fine by me. Maybe I'm just the only one thinking about the bathing um, opportunity that you have with not showering. Yeah, most people just do not see that much of a big celebration holiday. You just uh, have it that they get away a day off here. Would you rather watch your parents be murdered in front of you? Or murdered the parents of another family in front of the children. Well, at least my parents would still be alive then. So maybe they're they are bad persons. Can I can I decide on which parents I want to kill? I could kind of decide of uh, somebody really bad. Hopefully that's working. Oh, I'm such a bad person. Uh-huh. Would you rather be famous on Tumblr or on YouTube? Okay, funny thing is, I'm not fond of Tumblr that much. I'm, I do not dislike it, but I'm not on there that much. Just not uh, visiting it that much. So, I'd rather take YouTube. If I have the choice, I'll take that. Ooh, a lot of people are having the same opinion. Did we ever have such a high counter? I think not. I think the highest we got now was 70%, I think, for one side. So I'm guessing that YouTube is way more popular than Tumblr. At least for being famous, that is, maybe. Would you rather be able to fly up to 5 meters off the ground? Or have a magic carpet that can fly up to 50 meters off the ground? Hmm. Okay. Okay. One thing, if I would be able to fly on myself 5 meters off the ground, that would not be much. But if I, for example, fall down somewhere, I could just, um... Limit the damage or nullify the damage by just uh, starting with my flaying ability. You have the magic carpet though. I can really fly around. Can I also bring another person if I like? Problem here is I'm kind of depending on the carpet. Is it kind of indestructible and cannot be taken from me, or can somebody just steal it from me or, or destroy it?
Because I'm sure if I go flying around a magic carpet, then people certainly would be interested in stealing. Cannot see that ability away from me. That's a hard one. And can the carpet break? That's a good question. But let's say the carpet is more useful. Just have to take good care of it. And it goes about 50. So only understandable. Would you rather prevent World War II? Or win a life changing amount of money in a lottery? Okay. Call me selfish, but um, I think past events are there to learn from them. I mean, if I would prevent that, maybe something else would have happened that would be bad. You know, kind of like when you're you're going back, changing things, hoping that uh, some better value will get out of it, and it gets even worse. I think past is here to learn from it, so I do not really care what is on the right hand side. Of things here, but just I do not know if I would change the past. So can I? Would, would that change if I even exist? I'm just thinking of it. I wouldn't even exist, baby. It's really possible that I wouldn't exist then. You know, people didn't move, other people didn't die. Kind of not erasing my own existence. That's not good. I'm not sure if most people think like me right here, or most people are just selfish over there. Yeah, but that, that's my reason for not doing that. I mean, he doesn't write anything like, um, the time continuum, everything would be set in order still, so I'm guessing that would, um, make things worse. Would you rather only eat reheated leftovers from the, for the rest of your life? Or pay to eat out at restaurants for every meal for the rest of your life? But it would be good restaurants, right? I just would have to get enough money to go to a restaurant each day. And I know quite a few that are not costing that much, so... Would still be okay even with, uh, with normal income. And where do the leftovers even come from? I mean, I never produce anything. Would it be leftovers kind of that I cook and I only have to reheat them all the time for weeks? Or would that be random leftovers spawning? Coming from somewhere. But some leftovers are really good if you heat them up and uh, if it's exactly like you cooked it. And it's no problem. But you know, I'm gonna go with the restaurant for now. Because some things are not good to reheat it up. Believe me. That would cause a lot of trouble. What's your rather fight? Apollo Creed or even Drago? A two of the more well-known antagonists in the Rocky film series. Well, I do not know. I do not really have a preference on who to fight. I'm just going with you over here. Yeah, most people agree with me here. Would you rather say yes or similar words to everything? Or say no or similar words to everything? You must also follow through with the appropriate action. Okay, both would be really bad. Because kinda how you put the questions, um, everything can kinda be reapplied. I mean, if you kinda say, um, would you have $1,000 and then you say no, and it's bad. If, if someone asks, will you give it to me, then, then that would be good. So, whatever you do, you're screwed. But I have to follow through with the action. Hmm. Maybe I'm going with yes. I think yes is more useful in most places. Like, do you want to continue on here, going to that site? Yes. Do you agree to our... Our special terms, yes. 
I mean, there is also bad cases, but uh, the same goes for no. So, how about yes? Yeah, most people also pick yes. Probably because of that reason. Because a lot of things require you to say yes. And bad cases for both equally. Depending on how the the answer is asked. Would you rather have a stylist do your hair and makeup every day? Or have a fashionista pick you a new outfit every day? I do not care about either of these. Which makes you look great. All of the best makeup, styling tools and clothes are available to you. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, let's just go through this. Okay, stylists will do your hair and makeup every day. Um, hair and being and get a new kind of cut and color all the time where they just are brushing and making it look good. And you're not wearing makeup, so... Um... Um, kind of they they're putting none on then, or are they just forcing me to do something? Then? And for outfits, they are picking what they like, right? So they could get me into something really comfortable. And most of this fashion stuff also looks ridiculously bad, if you ask me. So I'm rather go with that one and maybe pick a stylist that I like. That's kind of going on to my wishes. I mean, I can... He, he does it every day, once, I guess. So, I can kind of put it back to normal afterwards. I think, uh... Pick a new outfit every day. I, do I have to wear it? I, I guess I have to wear it. I think that's uh, actually not that bad. as the other one. So I'm gonna pick that one. Most people really like outfits. Okay, I didn't, didn't think that. Would you rather own a baby otter or a messenger owl? That's an easy one for me. The owl, of course. And most people also like owls. Yeah, owls are cute and popular. They kind of pop up everywhere. I mean, a few years ago, um, it was really hard getting um, something owl-shaped or owl plushies or something. But um, for the past year, they kind of popped everywhere. So, I don't know what's up. Somehow my favorite animal got popular. Would you rather have 2 million YouTube subscribers or 1 million Twitter followers? Why is Twitch never in there? I think I'd go with YouTube since uh, with YouTube I would, I guess, that the people are watching my content, kind of being in on that, and I can share a thing. I'm not that active on Twitter, except for announcements. Um, I think Twitter is more for for socializing, kind of sharing gifts, and I think that's just not what I want to. I'm going for YouTube, because that's kind of more similar to what I'm doing now. Ooh, 82. Okay, people agree with me. I think Twitter really is only a tool. No creative platform. At least not in the sense that we are needing it. If you were blind, would you rather be able to hear perfectly with perfect precision? Or be able to see using a very painful eye corrective drop to be applied every hour? Okay, I still hear normal though if I take the right, uh, the right option, right? Which means I, I could do both. Um, very painful. When I put it in there for the whole day. Oh, every hour it has to be applied. Hmm. But, um, be able if I put it in there. So if I need to see something, I could just put it in if I need it. I don't know if um, hearing with perfect precision might be bad at some point. I mean, for example, if I do not want to hear my neighbors arguing or something, it kind of be even harder to not hear that. So I'm going with the eye drops. 
Are most people that really like to have perfect hearing? But I'm okay with my choice anyway. Would you rather be a piece of toast for a day without moving? Ooh, someone played something too much here. Or be a toaster and get used frequently. Your toaster family loves a jelly in either case. Okay. Would I get eaten if I were a piece of toast? Or not? But I think the toaster is for lifetime, right? Because it doesn't say for a day there. So I'm gonna pick the toast, because it's only for a day. Maybe I can tell people not eat me. Well, will I transform on the spot? So I, I could kind of go somewhere in the dirt. I don't know. Where it's dirty. Full of, I don't know, piss and everything. And then I just transform there and nobody would be able to eat me. Nobody would do it. No one. Or just hide me somewhere. Like the last slice in in the package. I'm definitely gonna do with the toast though. But most people are rather be a toaster. Ah, uh, take a risk. Rather than being a toaster all lifelong. If you had one in the bedroom, would you rather? Have a complete stranger that cuddles with you. Have non-stop screaming seven-year-olds. That sounds like horror. I'm going to go with the complete stranger. Cause that sounds horrific. At least he's nice. Yeah, most people agree with me. Would you rather have two sets of twins or quadruplets? You must keep and raise all children involved. I want none of them. So, I do not really care which one. Because I do not care for either one. How about that? Most people like that, it seems. Would you rather spend a year alone in a deep sea submarine? Or spend a year alone in a space station? Hmm. Depends on the view, I say. Hmm. I mean I gotta look into the deep sea. Isn't it isn't it really really quite dark down there? And some sorts of creatures swimming there. I'm also kind of afraid of all the all the things down there. Space, at least there would be nothing in there. And if I get a nice view out of a few planets and the stars, that would be really cool. So I'm gonna go with the space station. It would have just been on the water, not deep sea, not way down. Then I may have a uh, submarine, but that way, no. I'm gonna go space station. Would you rather have all fingernails and toenails removed quickly? Ow. Or deep paper cuts on the webbing between each finger and toes slowly? More ow. Not good. That's not good. Um, I think both are extremely horrific. But I'm gonna go with the finger and chilney is removed quickly. At least it's quickly. And I had my chilney removed one time. And I think it's better than having a cut between each finger and toe. I think they are also healing way slower than the nails. So I'm gonna go with that one. People are not um, really agreeing on one. It's okay. It's both horrible. Would you rather be covered in feathers or in fur? I'm gonna go with feathers. They look more beautiful. Oh, most people like fur. 
Okay. Whatever you like best. If you could only do one, would you rather sit or stand? Okay, my arguing here is would be sitting. Since, um... I don't know, gaming while standing is kinda hard. In sitting, it's okay. Um... I don't need standing for a lot of things. I, I mean, I just have to get a house wheelchair covered and everything will be okay. I think that's easier because it's actually only happening in life. Uh, no, no, no prisoners can only stand all day long. How most people agree. Sitting is better. Would you rather be homeless and hungry but always love for your perfect partner? Or have a fabulous house and amazing food, but never have, have loved or been loved. Okay, that is a simple one. Um, I'm not just simply going with that one. So I think that's better. It doesn't say that I'm dying, right? Yeah. Same. It's just if you're... If you're hungry or not, having a great house, that's kind of... That situation was a good situation. Would you rather be waking up at 3am every morning and forced to watch Mrs. Dope Fire? Okay, I do not know that. Or I get punched in the face by an average man once every two months. Um, 3 a.m. It's not the problem. The question is, how long does this take to watch? You'll have to complete the movie every morning. Okay, if it's a movie, I'm guessing two hours maximum. That I lose every day. Once every two months, uh, getting punched in the face. By an average man. Hmm. What does cause enough trouble to be more in two? Do I really have to pay attention while I'm watching a movie? I mean, I just put it in and kinda, I don't know. Do something different in the meantime. I'm going for that one. Sounds less violent. Most people are right, I got punched. I think that might be something really bad. Might have to look that up later. Sounds strange. Never be able to say would you rather? Never be able to say thanks or please. Includes thank you. Okay. Um. Probably please. Because, um. I mean, you can thank the person for it. If we want to say, uh, please do that, just say, will you do that? That would be really nice or something. I, I think I could find different ways of saying that. But thanks just is so universal. There is no other word um, that kind of gets it as much as thanks. So I'd rather not say please for the rest of my life. Would you rather be a world-class footballer or a world-class cricketer? I do not care about any of that, so I don't care. Oh, many people like football. I don't forgot about that one. Would you rather be in jail for a year or live in complete isolation in the mountains for a year? Definitely the isolation in the mountains. I mean, being in jail, there's kind of all these other inmates. Um, kind of know what horror stories. Um. Yeah, social versus alone question. Definitely the alone question. Having some nice isolation time in the mountains actually sounds good as long as it's provided that I'm allowed to be there and have um, kind of not some viral environment. I think it's complete isolation. I'm thinking about just some hat to where you're living in. Not something dangerous. Just about the isolation. Would you rather only be able to laugh at violent racist jokes? 
or only be able to laugh at intricate Star Trek jokes. Hmm. Not laugh at either? I mean, I'm mostly not laughing at, at jokes anyway. I'm not just a joke person. I'm really bad at jokes. Hmm. Well, at least that would be better company, right? So I'm gonna pick that one. Would you rather be attacked by 50 deck-sized horses? Well, that's a strange image. Or be attacked by one horse-sized duck. Good. Good question. How long would the attack last? Can I kind of kind of wait it out, or can it beat it? Because I think it's easier to, uh, to kind of concentrate on one big enemy than many small ones. So I'd go with the big one. Also, having a really big duck attack at me sounds way funnier. And little horses. If you walked into a room, would you rather have everyone stare at you in disgust? Or have everyone look away in disgust? Yeah, look away definitely. I do not like people to look at me, so definitely that one. And we're gonna do a few more questions before we call it a day. I don't know, maybe five? Is, is five okay? I think I'm gonna do five more. Would you rather be resistant to cold and impossible to freeze to death? Or be resistant to heat and impossible to burn to death? This, this does not include feeling the cold or feeling the heat. So kinda when you go into the heat, you're resistant to it, but you're still feeling that it's warm. Or you're feeling warm, right? You're just not dying of it. Am I getting that right? Same for the cold as well. So, um... Hmm, which one is better? I think then, uh, because I do like a cold climate more than warm climate, I think then uh, the blue one would be better. But if it's actually not feeling it, not feeling that it's warm anymore, or cold anymore, then I'd rather not be able to feel the warmth anymore, because that's kinda horrible for me. Not a big fan of worm. System. Hmm. Does the system mean that I'm not feeling it? I'm going with the cold option. I do not care about this. I am gains and resistant only being that it causes no harm to me, but I'm still kind of feeling it. And most people do not like to drink to death. Would you rather feel like you have to sneeze all the time, feel like you're about to fall all the time? I'm going with falling. I think I cannot concentrate if I'm feel like I'm sneezing. This is about about us getting dizzy, I think. Ooh, exactly 50-50. I think we didn't have this before. Did we have? I think one question was 50-50 exactly. But for the rest of your life, would you rather drink the same thing or eat the same meal? Um, I think I have to go with the drink. I think I want a little bit um, more variety in eating. Drinking, I think we could, you know, get to one drink. Something more neutral that we can agree on. If you had to be tortured, would you rather enter a Sicilian bowl or wear Spanish boots? Look up if you're not familiar with the terms. No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually a little bit, um... I'm too lazy right now. Uh, 
I do not care. But I think the one that most people pick, so I think it's okay. And how much did we have? One, two, three, four, so one more? Or did the first one count? So we say this and the next one. If you could only use one type of bill for the rest of your life, would you rather pay in nothing but singles or pay in nothing but hundreds? Okay, pay for it. Does that mean that I can actually... I mean, if I pay with this, I have to get every single one for for big sums. Um, that would be really bad. Can I not play, uh, pay with, um, with other means, like card? Or you only, only put money directly? Pay nothing but hundreds. Okay, would I get the change back and can I uh, kind of... Um, Collect that and then can I exchange it? Because it says I can only pay, but it doesn't say that I cannot exchange. So I could ask people to, or the bank to exchange back to hundreds and then just pay with them. If you got changed, you couldn't spend it until it added up to a hundred. Yeah, I don't want to do the hundreds. I think that's a bit of an option. Would you rather drive a moped on tight rope? Or go over near Gara Falls in a barrel? I think the falls actually sounds cooler. Oh, and I kind of got over the limit again. Okay, so that will be the last question. Would you rather taste the same flavor of food or taste nothing ever again? Well, at least we taste some. And most people agree with me on that one as well. Okay. That were certainly some interesting questions. But I think it's time that we call it a day for today. Well, let me just hop on to chat. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, that will be it for today's stream, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I know it's been a little bit different today, uh, what we were doing, but I'm going to change things up a little bit, just just fine. Okay, and tomorrow, um, I have also something different, something new planned. I kind of like a 100 followers special. Um, I'm going to play uh, Choice Chamber. And afterwards, towards the end, I think not too long, maybe half an hour, um, depending on how many people want to participate, or if somebody wants to participate, I'm going to do a little light Q&A, um, like it was wished for, where I kind of answer all your questions about my plans, about me, whatever you wanted to ask. You asked for it, so it's okay with me. Whatever you want to do with me here. Okay. So... Thanks again for watching, and see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.